Ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, I have successfully installed custom firmware into my PSP 2000 series Slim. The version I have is 5.00 M33-4. It's not the most up-to-date custom firmware. There is a Dash 6 available, but I installed custom firmware the rather easy way, and I will show you how to do that. And it wasn't hard at all. All right, in order to install your own custom firmware, you're gonna need a few things to start. You're gonna need, obviously, a PSP. Now you can do custom firmware on the PSP FAT or 1000 series, and a good number of the uh, Slim 2000 series, like this one here. Though there are many PSP 2000 series that you cannot install custom firmware with. And those ones in particular are a good number of the Piano Black ones. You have to check a lot of details to make sure your Piano Black PSP Slim is hackable. And also a good number of the blue Madden Special Edition ones. But all the other Special Editions are okay as far as hacking and installing custom firmware. Now you also need a memory stick. I'm using a quite sizable 16 gig memory stick. So I don't have to worry about space and putting stuff on my new Magic PSP. The other thing you're gonna need is a tool battery, otherwise known as a Pandora battery. Now, I purchased mine. It wasn't that expensive, like $24, and comes in the mail, and there you have it, a tool battery. You can make a tool battery, but I don't recommend it. You just spend the $24 or however much you buy it for and be done with it. But if you make a tool battery, you run the risk of destroying the battery and having to purchase a new one anyway. You'll also need a PC computer and a USB cable. Now the first thing you want to do to put on custom firmware is to make a magic memory stick. And there is some debate whether certain brand memory sticks work better than others as far as making a magic memory stick. I don't know, I haven't experimented. But I am using a Sony brand and it worked fine. I used another brand, I can't remember off the top of my head, it might have been a SanDisk, but I'm not sure. One of friends and that worked fine also. To make that, you'll need to download a program. You'll see a link to that download. It's called PSP Grader. It'll be in the description side of this video. So you can click on that and download that program and follow the instructions. It's very, very simple. You just start the program up and it basically tells you what to do. You can't screw it up. It takes about three minutes in total to make a magic memory stick. After you have your magic memory stick made, you'll want to insert it. Make sure it's inserted into your PSP. And you'll want to swap batteries. You're going to want to take out the regular PSP battery right there and install the tool battery. Make sure the tool battery is charged up and also make sure your other battery is fully charged before you start this whole procedure. After you swap batteries, simply turn the unit on. Before you turn it on, make sure you're holding down the left trigger like that, then turn it on and voila, it'll go into a very simple menu. And the very top option is install 5.00 M33-4. It comes already on your Magic Memory Stick after you make it with that program. After you install it, you're good to go. You now have custom firmware. When you're finished the install, 
take the battery out, the tool battery, put your regular battery back in, you're good to go. Now, what can you do with custom firmware? You can do all different things, put in all kinds of homebrew, custom applications, lots of fun stuff, but the main reason I wanted custom firmware was the ability to run emulators. I, uh, so far I have four emulators going on this thing. I plan on loading it up with a few more, but uh, there's my 2600 emulator for example. It allows me to play Atari 2600 games on my PSP. Let's load up a ROM. Give you a little sample of what it looks like. Let's go with a little berserk. And there you have it. You get the idea. So that's the main reason why I wanted custom firmware, but the reason why you may want it may vary. So that's how you do it in a nutshell. Very simple. I was very intimidated at the process, but uh, when I did it, it was uh, a no-brainer. It's almost impossible to screw it up. I'm Dami from Classic Games Revisited, until next time.